Hey guys, it's Maylee. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some outfit ideas for back to school. I know, it's already that season. Oh my goodness. Where did summer go? These past few months have flown by so quickly. I know that this year with the pandemic, the school situation for everyone is going to be a little bit different. Either way, you're probably still going to be wearing clothes, whether you're going in person or just studying at home. So today, I'm here to share with you guys some outfit ideas I have. If you're taking classes from home, I totally feel you if you just want to wear sweatpants and just lounge around in your PJs but I know that for me even when I'm working from home when I put on a nice outfit and feel like I'm looking cute then it really helps me be productive for the day obviously with college there's not a dress code but I know that a lot of high schools have dress codes so I'm trying to make these outfits as dress code friendly as possible I mean honestly screw dress codes our shoulders are not distracting anyone but yes for all these outfits I'll be kind of like giving a basic tip template so you can really interchange the pieces with whatever you have or whatever will work with your dress code. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more and without further ado let's get right on to the video. Alright, so for this first outfit, I call this the girly grunge outfit. The template is basically pairing a chunky boot with a flowy dress. It starts off pretty basic with this classic Brandy Melville dress that you've probably seen on every Visco Girls Instagram and definitely one too many times in my videos. If you have a dress code that doesn't allow for spaghetti straps, fear not, this is where my trusty cardigan comes in. I got this one from Zara and it has these two strings attached to the back that you can tie up in the front. Personally, I like the front to be more open so I tie this up in the back. There's also cinches of fabric so it's not super flowy which personally I like and I think this adds a cute little detail in the back. For accessories, I'm wearing this star choker I got from Japan and these earrings from H&M. Then to add to the grunge factor, I'm wearing these black Doc Martens. I just love this outfit. It makes me feel like a boss that's ready to stomp on the patriarchy but also look pretty doing so. Next, we have the Waldorf Girl. Yes, this outfit is inspired by the iconic Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. I imagine this is an outfit one of her minions from her posse would wear. So to start, I'm pairing this Ralph Lauren polo with this purple pleated skirt. I got both of these pieces from a thrift store in Japan, which I know not everyone has access to the pieces I got from Japan, so I apologize if you wanted the exact pieces. But seriously, you don't need to go out and buy the exact pieces to make this outfit. I'm giving you guys templates so you know the basic structure to create these looks, so you really don't have to go out and buy new things. You can definitely work with what you have in your closet to fit these templates. And for accessories, I'm adding even more of a girly touch with this floral headband I got from a local boutique. For shoes, I'm wearing my classic Adidas Superstars. These ones have the purple stripe, which I thought looked cute since it would coordinate with the skirt. I love this look. It makes me want to frolic in a field of flowers and take cute pictures. The next look is called Pops of Purple, and the basic template for this look is to just wear plain overalls with a collared shirt underneath. Obviously, you don't have to choose purple, I just couldn't come up with another name for the look besides oh, overalls, and that definitely sounded too cringy, so we're going with Pops of Purple. Anywho, the overalls are from Forever 21, and the shirt I actually tie-dyed myself. I actually made a video showing how I tie-dyed it, so you can head over to my channel or I'll also have the video linked below. For shoes, I'm again wearing the Adidas Superstars with the purple stripe, and I also want to show another purple shirt that could be paired with these overalls. So for a more simple look, you could switch out the tie-dye for a plain purple shirt. This one I got from Urban Outfitters. Okay, for the next look, which I named Call Me Camo, I'm pairing these gray camo pants from Zoomies with a basic white tee from American Eagle. I love these pants, and Zoomies actually has them in a bunch of different colors. They're surprisingly really comfortable and great quality for the price. If you don't want to go out and buy these specific pants, the general template for this outfit is to wear some statement bottoms with a plain top. Whether it be pants with a fun print or a bold design, you can use this idea for whatever pieces you already own. I'm also pairing these with my plain white filas. I used to wear this outfit to school all the time when I wanted to wear something comfy, but also wanted to look like I put some effort into my outfit. Of course, I named this next one Cheetah Girl because, get it, 
cheetah print or is it leopard print honestly i don't really know the differences so someone please enlighten me but anywho i've been loving the whole cheetah leopard print trend lately i'm pairing this midi skirt from abercrombie with this plain black tank from target this skirt has a fun slit, but it doesn't go up too high, so you know, nothing too scandalous. I know Princess Polly also has some good leopard print skirts, so definitely check out their site too. If your dress code requires you to cover up in shoulders, then you can add on a denim jacket. This one is from Forever 21. For shoes, I'm once again wearing my Adidas Superstars. So the general template for this outfit is to pair a patterned midi skirt with a plain top, The next look is called One Dress Wonder, which, as you guessed, is a look just using one dress. I'm wearing this t-shirt dress from Forever 21 and pairing it with the same denim jacket from before, but honestly, I feel like you could wear just about any jacket with this since the t-shirt dress is a pretty plain pattern. For simple looks like these, I like to add some fun hair accessories, so here I'm adding this clip I got from Amazon, which has a bunch of pearls on it, and I think it just adds a really cute touch to the look. And for shoes, I'm just wearing my white feelets again. This next look is called White on White. To start, I'm wearing this white denim skirt from Forever 21 and pairing it with this hot pink tie-dye top. This is another top I made in my tie-dye video, which again, you can go to my channel to check it out and also have it linked below. Since this top does have thin straps, I'm adding this white flannel or button down, not really sure if this is considered a flannel because in my mind flannels are like thick with those checkered patterns, but whatever. I don't know. I'm just pairing this outer layer on top. For the shoes, I'm wearing these white platform wedges I got from Japan, but again, any shoes will do. Honestly, oftentimes if I don't feel like wearing open toed shoes, I'll pair this outfit with my white Converse and that also goes super well. For accessories, I'm wearing these adorable pink butterfly clips. I got these in a giant pack with a bunch of different colors for pretty cheap on Amazon. Guys, I've been obsessed with butterfly clips recently. They're so freaking fun to wear and I feel like they add such a nice touch to any outfit. This next one I call the just trying to survive the day look, which I know isn't a very creative name, but I think it describes the outfit perfectly. I'm wearing this pink top and black yoga pants, both of which are from Lululemon. I guess you could also name this look the athlete since it's mostly just athletic wear, but I mean, I'm no athlete and I wear this look pretty much every day. <laughs> like no joke, I think I wore this for the entire duration of high school. Anyways, for the jacket, I'm wearing this plain gray hoodie from Brandy Melville. I know they have a ton of different colors, but I just went with gray since it matches pretty much everything. And for shoes, I'm pairing this with, yet again, my Adidas Superstars. <laughs> this next outfit I call Cozy Chic, which you'll see why in just a second. I'm starting off with the same plain white top from American Eagle and pairing it with these jeans from Topshop. Then I'm adding this super fluffy pink jacket. I got this one from a local business here in Seattle. It's called Fantastic Fawn, but I know you can also find fluffy jackets like these at stores like Urban Outfitters, American Eagle, Nordstrom, and so on. Basically, the template is to pair a nice fluffy jacket with a basic tee and jeans. I'm also wearing the same pink butterfly clips as earlier. Again, these are from Amazon. You guys, I am not kidding when I say this jacket makes you feel like you are in a literal cloud. This is definitely an outfit made for more like the winter season, but let me tell you, when it is cold outside, this jacket will keep you nice and warm and comfy. Ah, the number of times I fell asleep during a lecture with this jacket on, it's just way too many to count. <laughs> Okay, okay, this next outfit I call the YouTuber. This outfit basically entails wearing a nicer looking top with super comfy bottoms, aka sweatpants. This is called the YouTuber because most YouTubers, at least for me, when we're filming sit down videos where we're just talking to the camera, usually only the top half of our body is showing, so I'll just wear a nice top with whatever comfy bottoms I can find. Honestly, feeling pretty clever for coming up with this title. This top is actually a bodysuit and it has this fun cutout in the back. 
It's from Windsor. And guys, if you're looking for trendy but not too expensive pieces of clothing, definitely check out Windsor. I think they have some great stuff. The pants are from Brandy Melville. And to cover up, I'm sticking with the nicer looking things on top. So I'm adding this bomber jacket from Forever 21. And for shoes, I'm wearing my white feelers. For this next look, which I call bodysuit babe, I'm repeating some of the same pieces I used earlier to show you guys that you really don't have to go out and buy a ton of clothes to create a variety of looks. All these items, besides the denim skirt, have been shown in a previous outfit. So again, same bodysuit from Windsor, cardigans from Zara, this denim skirt is from Forever 21. For accessories, I'm wearing these gold hoops I got from Urban Outfitters, and again, adding this floral headband. When wearing headbands like these, I like to take out the front pieces of hair and then put the headband behind those. That way, I can have these pieces framing my face. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these white platform wedges. This outfit gives me a girly vibe, which I think is super cute, but if you're going for more of a cool girl look, you can simply swap out the shoes for a chunky boot. Here, I'm wearing my black Doc Martens. And for the last look, we've got the chill girl. Clearly, as you can tell, I'm running out of names for these outfits, so good thing this is the last one. But yeah, just like the name says, this outfit is my go-to when I just want to throw something on and head out the door. These ripped jeans are from American Eagle, and the top is from Urban Outfitters. I honestly wear this top way too much, but I absolutely love it. It's got these little sparkles in it, so it's a little fancier than your basic tee. I'm pairing this look with, again, my Adidas Superstars, and adding these green butterfly clips from Amazon. As I was saying earlier, I bought a big pack of these clips for pretty cheap. Like, seriously, it came in a big pack of all these colors. So yeah, highly recommend. You will thank me later. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these outfit ideas. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. I'm really curious to know which one you guys liked. But yes, until next time, I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!